Sorry. Gentlemen, I want, I want us to move on uh, from one conversation to the other, and we will be updating you on the work of Parliament and, and ultimately the recommendation that this committee gives to Parliament itself, and then we'll see the kind of direction that the Speaker will give. Uh, there's the appointment of Dr. Dampari as the new acting IGP, Inspector General of Police. There's also been a change at the top with the President's service, but I think it's COP George Dampari that's gotten a lot of people talking. Uh, for those of us who know him as a professional, he's a fantastic professional police officer, and we're happy for this appointment. Uh, but why has there been a change? Has this been sudden, Vincent? Well, I, I don't think it has been sudden. Um, Opon Buenu um, has been on retirement for the past two years. He just got additional two years to um, act based on the discretion of the president. But Mamavi, if you ask me to describe Dr. Dampari in one word, I would describe him as decent. He is a decent uh, policeman. Um, coming from the background of where he was uh, admitted into the Ghana Police Service as a constable at the age of 20, um, clearly without any secondary school uh, background. Just within about uh, 24 years. Hey, just within about. <laughs> uh, uh, you see, I'm just saying within the, tw the 24 years. Just see, within 24 years. Just, no, just I mean, what I mean is, yeah. that's a lot of years. It's a lot of years, but you see, if you look at the achievements, if you look at the achievements. In the scheme of police service. It is not, it is not it a joke. It is so, so phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and the number of achievements <laughs> that he has been able to chalk sure. within this period is, is remarkable. And uh, at the age of 26, I'm being told that he became an, a, a chartered accountant. And from there, uh, he moved to do his uh, a PhD in uh, finance as well. But... Checking his profile, you can see that he has worked in diverse areas as far as the Ghana Police Service is concerned. Be it the Welfare Department, be it the Finance Department, the Administration Department, the National Patrol Department. Um, he has also been at the uh, Command School as well. And so clearly, he is having um, diverse knowledge about how the police structure uh, works. I am of the opinion that there seemed to be a dent on the reputation of the Ghana Police Service over uh, the years. What is he bringing on board? I expect that he should go on an agenda of rebranding the Ghana Police Service. The Ghana Police Service is not supposed to be seen as a warrior. The Ghana Police Service is supposed to be seen as a friend to the Ghanaian or to the citizen. This is the kind of image that I would expect that um, Dr. Dampare will be able to create in the minds of the Ghanaian people. Um, over the years, uh, over the uh, past few months, we've seen that police personnel are being killed, um, some of them in bullion vans and what have you. What is his policy directive with respect to protecting the police personnel who have been guarding bullion vans and what have you? Is it going to continue with the uh, we projections? We have bullion vans, apparently. Oh, absolutely, because they have been using... Um, <laughs> Uh, the pickups for <laughs> search purposes. Uh, what is he bringing on board uh, for us to be able to make sure that uh, the police personnel in there uh, would be protected? And so I expect uh, every branding image uh, by the Ghana Police Service. I know that with a uh, kind of uh, uh, diverse knowledge that he brings on board, the Ghana Police Service will be rebranded for us to be able to see a much respected um, Ghana Police Service. I wish, mm -hmm. I wish Dr. Dampari the very best of luck. Mr. Nahman Commissioner of Police, Dr. Dampari. Yes, uh, to rise from a constable in 1991 uh, 92 to an, an acting IG mm -hmm. uh, uh, almost 30 years later, it's quite a phenomenal rise. And now place this in contest. Because within the service, it takes an average of about four years to move to the next rank. So if you do the calculation, it means that in 30 years, you should, you should just be jumping to about six positions. Mm. 
So that's what makes it very, very phenomenal. So if you are a constable, and in 30 years, by the normal computations that you write your promotion exams, you pass every four years. It should be like um, a chief inspector or an ESP. Yes. Mm, an ESP? Yes. Yeah, six. Six. Mm. Yes. Because a constable, you become a lance, a lance corporal, you become a corporal, you become a sergeant, sergeant. you become a staff sergeant. Then I think, yes. Chief inspector. Chief, that's right. So it doesn't come cheaply. When you see them like that, it mm. doesn't come cheaply. It takes a lot of hard work. But you see that he didn't, he, the qualifications with which he became a constable, he quickly garnered more. He quickly went back to school. I think he must have been doing part-time studies and quickly, uh, you know, Rose acquired higher, higher educational qualifications to be able to serve in these capacities. Like Vincent said, you, you cannot get to this height of police service and, and not be a decent policeman. Uh -huh. So the decency will be an underlying quality. I, I wish him all the best. I hardly know him. I know a lot of other senior officers, but mm. Dan Paris Dan Paris of mine, having crossed too often. Mm. I know him a bit from afar, but everybody says good things about him. I, I wish he comes to this position and with a new a new a new paradigm shift in the police service. They've taken a lot of flank these days. Um, crowd control issues and all that. Brutalization of MPs when we are simply walking to go and present petitions and all that. So I wish that he would, he would uh, work. That, that matter, are you guys still in court? I, I don't know, as the Republic. <laughs> so, so I wish that he would, he, he can be political because he, he owes his appointment to a political actor, but he shouldn't be partisan. He can be political, but he shouldn't be partisan. Uh, that's all that I can Sorry, say. Sorry, what's the difference? There's, 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 there's a whole world of difference <laughs> to that. Okay. Yes. Please educate you, me. Okay. Now, you can, I can safely say that given the nature and character of our politics, he may be an MPP. He may be. I use, I use my words advisedly. He may be. But as soon as you become an I, acting IG, you don't have to approach your work in a partisan manner. So that when there are infractions, when the, when the offenders are MPP, you let go. When they are NDC or CPP, you, 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 you let the law take its course. Okay. That's the difference. All right. Now, the other thing I want to say is that I am, I am increasingly becoming uncomfortable with the acting, acting, the issue of acting capacity. We have, a, we have an IGP, we, an IGP was in an acting capacity. We want to replace him. We are replacing him with someone also in an acting capacity. When do they get to serve in a substantive position? We need to check it. You see that a lot of CEOs are in an acting capacity. It doesn't bring stability to the institution because they are always jittery. They are unable to take firm policy decisions. It's, it's, it's a new phenomenon. I think we need to check it. Why aren't we also talking a lot about the prison service appointment? We, I was going See? to go there. I was going to go there because you asked two questions. Look, the, I, I think that the Director General Edri would, would use his first two months to visit the prisons. He may be a senior officer sitting at Ring Road, but he needs to visit, visit in Sawam. And visit Krachi. The second day, they, 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 there was they a protest. Closed. Yes, <coughs> and visit and visit and visit Ankafu. Kumasi. And visit Kumasi. Look, the, our prisons are choked. But what can he do? Can he, he build the infrastructure? No, he can liaise, liaison with the judiciary and the Ministry of Interior. It is time we introduce non-custodial sentences to, to, to affect some offenses. 
One of you, when, when you commit a traffic offense, there's no point a magistrate sentencing you to a prison term. Custodial sentence. There's no point. There's no point at all. That when you jump a red light, a magistrate, when, when, you, are, when, you, are, when you are tried and convicted, a magistrate should sentence you to say one year prison <coughs> term or six months prison term. Doesn't make sense. And in addition to that, uh, see that would the, be very difficult for the prison officer himself uh, to be able to do it. There should be effective no, that's collaboration. Why, no, that's, effective why said, collaboration. that's why I said himself, his institution, yeah. the judiciary, yes, yes. and the minister of interior, yes, yes, yes. and the ages. Mm -hmm. Look, I, 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 you get to the prisons, and the other great phenomenon is the remand cases. Some people are remanded for 10 years. And so as I speak, we are working on a private member's bill in this matter. Isn't the work of uh, what Justice uh, Honyanuga, uh, was he, did he spearhead? Because for a long time it was him in the lead. I, I was, the, I, we were doing that together. Police. You know, I was the Young Lawyers, the Young Lawyers Forum president. And, oh. and Samson was my vice. We oh, had okay. a team of about five years ago. We were, we were championing the, 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 uh, a lot of programs to get... This is Justice for All. Justice for All program. Yes, uh, Hwene Nuga was the CJ's, CJ Wu's representative from mm. the judiciary. Hasn't that, hasn't that, you know, <coughs> eased the remand issues a bit? Let me, let me use this, let me use this uh, analogy. Now, Mamavi, it's as if you are trying to drain water from a polytank during rainfall. Oh. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> yeah. Okay, now I understand. You know, you understand. <laughs> yes. So you mark time, because the more efforts you make to get people out, a lot more are being sent in. Mm. Mm. So the numbers don't don't dwindle. In fact, if you do the calculation, there are more people being sent in than with the 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 justice for all program is is is, is getting them out. Okay, let me get your thoughts on Mr. Isaac. And there are a lot of social, a lot of social vices being picked from prison. Sodomy. When you go, you get sodomized. Yeah. You come out, you become gay. Yeah. People steal. People become addicted to cocaine, to marijuana. So the prison is not doing what it was expected to do, which is to, to reform. reform people. You know, people are coming as, back. As for the reformative, reformative party, for me, it's it's become. Be theoretical. But we've also we've also um, heard and seen stories of people who have written examination whilst in prison and who have passed. You know, people have come out better. I agree. In fact, the establishment of the High Court <coughs> at Insawan by C.J. Wood was part of this drive, so that you don't have to tra travel to Accra to have some of these cases tried, mm. and by some some um, design. They get the opportunity to come and observe, you know. The um, prisoners? Yes. Okay. Those who are of good conduct and of report and all that. Okay. And when they come and work outside, they spend a few, few, few minutes to observe and see mm -hmm. how. So, they, so you begin to even acquire the desire that eventually, if you come out, you may want to become a lawyer one day. Or a court clerk, you know those things. They Which aspire. Is a good thing. I guess we need more of that. I agree. Uh, Vincent, what would you be your charge uh, for Mr. Isaac Kofi a jury? Let me yeah. just say that until his uh, promotion, he was deputy director general of the Ghana Prison Service, mm -hmm. and uh, he's worked, I think, for about twenty-six years mm -hmm. in the prison service. Mm -hmm. Maybe, <clears throat> I think that um, I cannot agree with my brother more. Uh, uh, I have had the opportunity to No, visit. it wasn't Justice Hoenya Nuga, it was Justice Hometou. Who started it, but there was... Is, who is, that, is there a change? No, I... Justice I for... Remember, was justice we, for we, work, we work with Hometou, Justice Hometou. Mm. Okay, we're going to yeah. cross-check. Yes, I think yes, please cross-check. Uh, you know, I've been right. trying to, but I think it's Hometou. Okay. Uh, please check, like, but, but, please but, cross-check that for us. I think that there is work to be done <clears throat> with respect to the prison service. Um, I have had the opportunity to visit prisons at least every year. I visit yeah. it once on the 26th of December, December. St. Stephen's day. day, for those of us who joins 9th of Marshall. Every year. Yeah, yes, every year. 
we go to, uh, and in fact, the ninth of the Blessed Sacrament, mm -hmm. that is the Mass service, we, we go to the prisons to uh, do some um, donations to them. But when you go, Mama V, you see that um, uh, prison service is nothing to write home about. Yeah. It is not just about the fact that they are choked, but the consequences of that overpopulation over there, the consequences of it, is, is very, very important. We, we take people to custodial sentence for the purposes of reformation. Now, if you are supposed to reform someone, maybe in a period of 10 years, the person come back home west of, mm. then the essence the of- not reformed. The, the essence mm. of the, the reformation has been defeated. And so I, I think that there's work to be done. I just hope that there will be effective collaboration between the Ghana Police Service, the Interior Ministry, the Attorney General's Department, and the prisons directorate as well, to be able to find a way whereby they will be and able the to- the judiciary, very important. Uh, very, very important. Mm. So that they will be able to um, take a lot of people out there mm. uh, who are not supposed to be there necessarily, especially those on remand um, cases. 10 years, 15 years, just on the purposes of every month is, is unacceptable. And I think that the Ghana Prison Service, uh, and I'm charging... We'll still give them less than two CDs charging the leader for now. feeding, don't yeah. we? Yeah. Well, uh, mm. it, it's something that we can, we can also... I think Parliament, Parliament will have we can to look at it. We so can he, look at yeah. it. It's at the interior, interior yes, yes, yes. defense committee. Yeah, sometimes you go and you see the kind of food uh, mm. they are being served. Yeah. That was the yeah. second day, what, what the second day process was yeah, about. The, 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 the yeah. revolt it's pathetic, was, very was pathetic. Very pathetic. And I think that we should have a second look it's at that. It's a shame. I'm the charging, fact that you go I'm to charging prison, him. Uh, doesn't mean, I mean, there are people who have done bad things. There are people who also haven't. They've just been found yes, guilty, yes, yes. but they may not have. Yes. Really and and indeed, offense. indeed, <laughs> 10, 15 years later, the court itself mm. will overturn the decision. Yeah. yeah. So it, it doesn't mean that the fact that you go to prison, we should yeah. treat you bad. No, 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 at all, yeah. at all, at yeah. all. So, so <laughs> like I was saying, you jump a red light, you are caught by the man at, at Tessa, no MTTD. You are gone. Yeah. By the time you realize, you're in prison, six months. Three 